Welcome to Football Review UK and this is my unboxing, preview and also on feet video for the Nike Mercurial Veloce 3 or some people pronounce it the Veloce 3. Now what struck me about these particular boots was the colourway. Um, the electric green and black <coughs> colourway sorry, is part of the new radiation flare pack. Um, which is brand new to 2017 and I actually first saw these boots, well the Superflies um, on Alexis, Alexis Sanchez when the Arsenal were playing in the Champions League and it really caught my eye so I thought why, why not look into it now obviously the brand new Superflies are well over £250 where I managed to find these on the JD Sport website for only £90 so I thought you know why not have a go and also it would be quite interesting to see what the takedown model is like because if you see my videos which I've released maybe a few months ago um, I have several pairs of the Nike Mercura Superflies the first generation also the uh, Nike Magista Obras um, and obviously all the old Preza boots as well so I do usually spend that bit more and go for the top end models but I thought you know, Nike are renowned for having the best takedown models in the market, you know, much better than Adidas and other makes. Um, so I thought, why not give it a go? <clears throat> now, the first thing I'll notice, as I've told the boots here, is that um, obviously it's not got the fly knit uh, material, it's, it's synthetic, um, you know, material there. Um, so the outside is quite rigid and quite hard, um, quite different to that Superfly. Obviously they look similar with the dynamic fit collar, but the material itself on the outside is quite rigid. Um, in, in a strange way it might be beneficial because it can get a few more protection as you're playing football. But what I'm going to do is I'll be trying out these football boots next week. Um, so there will be a follow-up video if you um, check out my channel and I'll let you know how I get on. But obviously they have a lot to live up to because the super flies that I have were absolutely fantastic. Some of the fav my favourite boots of all time are so comfortable and give me an excellent touch on the ball. So it'll be interesting to see how these fare. Now what I've done is obviously I've got my Nike Mercurial Veloce 3 boots uh, and I've, always, I've just brought out my old uh, Nike Mercurial Superflies just for a comparison really. Now obviously um, on the Superflies it's got that fly minute material and the Brillo cables as well. Uh, the upper itself feels very very soft um, and obviously it's got the carbon fibre um, sole plate as well. The dynam dynamic fit collar is very soft as well. Um, so overall it is literally like playing in a sock. While with the Velos 3, um, the dynamic fit collar is quite hard. Um, obviously a different fabric, obviously a cheaper fabric I assume. But also um, it has the speed ridges on the synthetic upper, um, which is quite tough. So very, very big difference. Obviously cosmetically they look similar. Um, and obviously this is the newer version of the um, Mercurial range, um, so it'll be interested to see what they are like on feet. Now welcome to the on feet portion of the video, and uh, I decided to give them a try and just give you my initial thoughts on the boot before I play with them next week. Um, I'm scheduled to play uh, two or three games um, over a two week period so it'll be interesting to see how uh, quick they are to break in um, what the feel and touch is like on the ball now I might have mentioned in previous videos before but my position is a centre forward you know I like to, well I like to think of myself as a pacey striker so obviously that's why I do like the Mercurial uh, range because um, they are speed boots and designed for quick players now initially, I'm just going to have a little jump around here, um, it is a very very tight boot, which is good, that's what, what you want, you want a tight fitting boot, um, but the upper itself is quite hard compared to the superflies that I've owned before, um, and there is a slight rubbing already in on the heel area, so obviously I'm not too sure how long it'll take to break in. I found typically with my like, Curial superflies, it takes maybe one even possibly a maximum of two games um, to break in and then obviously after that it's quite soft and comfortable but I have a feeling here it might take a bit longer than that um, but they feel good obviously as I'm bending my foot 
here around the toe area it is quite there's not much give really it's quite hard whereas obviously on a superfly it'd be very soft um, but I can feel that on the toes and across the foot there obviously because it's the synthetic um, material as well so you do feel that and the speed speed ribs along the side and the fronts obviously add to the toughness of the boot um, but I do think they look fantastic they are they're, they're not too bad in terms of comfort um, I do think they'll take about three or four games possibly to uh, break in um, but uh, you know I do think they look fantastic um, obviously it is a one piece construction as well um, one thing I did find to be honest is putting them on was quite difficult I had to loosen up the top three um, parts of the uh, laces to get them on They're very very tight to get on but obviously I suppose that would get better over time um, I was a bit surprised I've read a few reviews online saying the dynamic fit collar was a bit looser on the Velose um, but obviously you know depending on maybe I have fat ankles or something but uh, they, you know it, the dynamic fit collar does fit quite snugly which is good um, you know it's, it's it's better than the sort of Adidas ranges where it can be quite loose along there and it's a bit pointless really you do want it quite snug around the ankle um, I've only got one pair of um, sports socks on um, so you can sort of see how tight it is around the ankle area. Obviously, I'd usually wear uh, sports socks with football socks over those with my shin pads. So, you know, the ankle area is quite snug, which is good. You can see the finer details well, the speed ridges. They are quite prominent, really. Uh, very, very noticeable if you rub your hand across them. Uh, but as I said, I'm going to play a few games next week. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll follow up, have a follow-up video and let you know how they are. But thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe.